here with Alan Silver to talk about parachutes, and I think there are some probably some popular misconceptions about jumping out of an airplane with a parachute. Tell us what some of those are. Well, first off, I hope nobody ever has to use the parachute. Uh, but yeah, there are, and a lot of pilots. I, I was I, when I train my safety seminars, I teach people to recognize certain things. I want them to make sure they understand how long it takes for the parachute to open. Many people think when they pull the ripcord, it may take five or six seconds to open, and then it takes another five or six seconds to slow down, and that's wrong. All parachutes that are certified, no matter who manufactures it, they must be fully open, going as slow as they're ever going to go in three seconds or less. In reality, it's two. So at the end of two seconds, if you're only six inches off the ground, you, you owe me an extra bottle of booze for saving your life. You don't get a long ride, you don't get a chance to look at the scenery, but that's one misconception. Once it's open, it's open, that's as slow as you're gonna go. What will change is not the time, it's pretty consistent, but the, the distance it takes to open based on the attitude of the aircraft when you went out. One of my bailouts, the gentleman was going almost straight to the ground. It took two seconds, but he lost six to 800 feet of vertical loss of altitude. Uh, and a, a fire is an example. You can trade off maybe from airspeed for altitude, and you need to make decisions quickly because speed can build up and make it very difficult. To get out of an airplane much above 180 miles per hour is extremely difficult, if not impossible. So if you're flying a P-51, have a 300 mile an hour parachute and you can't get out, which you don't really need because you're gonna slow down so fast. So you need to make decisions quickly. That's what I teach in my classes or, and, and everything, and I have a lot of articles, and of course I write for sport aerobatics, but uh, I have articles that'll help that, and maybe it'll bring Bring up more questions that they can ask. So that's one of the big misconceptions. And the other one is everybody sees skydiving. And they see skydivers. And what do they do just before they land? They take both hands on the handles and they pull them down because these are rectangular parachutes. They're a wing and they flare them on landing. You do not do that with a round parachute. I'm only five foot five and shrinking. Uh, and if you're six foot tall, there's a good chance we'll be looking eye to eye if you pull both handles down on a round parachute. It just increases the sink rate. So that's probably one of the big misconceptions that one's an apple and one's an orange. Aero TV is brought to you by Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at CirrusDesign.com.